thanks for joining me on this one hello no idea why I've said that like that let's have a look at the hive motion sensor see this has got the soft plastic which would have made more sense for the bulbs no idea why they didn't have it in there Right. Four 3M double sided sticky pads, a little instruction manual. That's showing it in the corner of a room. Now, does that mean it comes with a corner mate? Oh, it's a flat shape. So it wouldn't be very good directly on a wall. But that's good. It dropped. And <laughs> hive stuff seems to be made badly. This is the front. That is the uh, little bit of glue. That isn't supposed to come off of there. That just dropped. 50 centimeters at the very most and it popped off so let's uh, stick it all back on might have to get some super glue on that oh, oh, oh. it's another silly made one where all of the electronics are on the front Although, have they made this sensible? Is that sensible? I can't remember. Yeah, this one seems to be more sensible. They thought of that. So, it's not just going to drop down. Check my other Hive video and you'll see what I mean. The other sensors, not designed well. Maybe I should try one. I'm going to check one. These are the door and window sensors. Now, I've done a video about these. Because I bought one. It was pants. It didn't work properly. It was poorly designed. And it was faulty because it stunk of electrical smelliness right you get two different sizes for this one um, it's stunk for electronics but it's hard to explain it's just such an electrical smell ah, get out. now this seems different to the other box this one's a bit, lot more awkward to get into. Yeah, I'm a, a lot more awkward to get into. But anyway, on the other one, that's the front. This is the base. It's supposed to be basically this way round on a door frame with the lights at the bottom. Now, yeah, this one's stupid. All of the electronics are in this side. The weight of that can pull down and slip off. It's not. It's not very tight. Oh god! If you slammed a door and had this on the door, that could potentially fall off, and then you'll get a false reading. And not everybody's um, door frame is that size. Now, what I done is stick it on the top of the door and had it sideways, that way. Functions the same, but less chance of it just falling off. But anyway, I'm not here about those. I'm here about this. Which is designed better. Stuff on the front, and it slides up to open it. So when it's that way round, 
it won't just pop off. So if somebody thought about that and didn't about that. Obviously pull tabs, you set it up, pull that out, lights flash, get on the app, pair it up and then it should all sync up, test it, get an alert, everybody's happy. So that is the Hive motion sensor. So far we're doing okay to an extent. You can see if you look closely there's like a honeycomb type structure to that like some um, PIR sensors which is all it is basically. Uh, so there we go there's your hive motion sensor. Ta da! Thanks for watching this video. Thumbs up, subscribe, join me on the next one for the camera.